Barracuda, Volcanoes and Dolos. We are scuba diving in Hong Kong and this is Drone and Phone. Well, welcome to the second episode of our five best dives in Hong Kong along with David Xu. We're on the Mandarin Divers Boat again. What are we going to be doing today? So today we're going to explore one of my favorite diving sites called Easter Dam behind us. And what will we see today? What do you think? We're uh, going we're going to see some, hopefully we're going to see some, uh, uh, you know, um, barracuda. They are a, normally a screw of the juvenile barracuda fish and also lobsters, crabs and uh, the other, a lot of different type of fishes. Okay, yeah. I can't wait to go again. The first one I had a few problems. This time I hope we're going to get it right. Let's get going. Let's go. While well, Hong Kong may not be the first choice of dive destinations in Asia, on a clear water day away from the main population centres, there's plenty to see beneath the waves. In this series, we are asking diving instructor David Shu to help us pick five great dive spots around the region. The High Island Reservoir East Dam has become a popular destination for scuba divers in Hong Kong. The large concrete blocks, or dolos, have helped create a home for all sorts of sea life and this is a great place to explore in the clear waters of Sai Kung. On my last dive I had failed to carry the right amount of weight, making it hard for me to submerge. Getting the balance between too much weight and not enough is important to enable you to move freely in the water. And with David's help I am hoping this time I have it spot on. So we're gonna go slowly, slowly down. Hopefully we can see the group of the barracuda. Yeah, I'm looking for the Sudan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> barracuda. Barracuda. Big fish. The Spanish shipwreck with gold. But no catch up for dinner, okay? <laughs> One last check and then dive time. The area around the East Dam is one of Sai Kung's most popular scenic spots. Large hexagonal volcanic rock columns rise up from the sea around the bay, adding to the atmosphere of the experience. Beneath the waves, we spent the first half hour surrounded by colourful fish, but no luck in finding the barracudas. With just a little air left, we turned back towards the boat, and then, as luck would have it, from behind a group of small fish, a school of young barracuda appeared, a fitting ending to a colourful dive. That was great. I mean, like, uh, we saw the uh, small school of the juvenile barracuda, a lot of different type of fishes, schools of them, and also, I mean, the visibility was uh, quite good. It's much better than we expected. And you can see, you know, the um, man-made concrete thing people sank into the water, create a very, very beautiful ecosystem for all the marine life. So it's really amazing diving site. Come to Easter Dam, guys. It's really amazing diving site here. And for me, I've got to say, this was a much better dive than the first episode we did in that I had the weights right. I felt much more comfortable. A little bit of cramp during it, but nothing too bad. So as always guys, <laughs> please like and subscribe wherever you see this show. My name's DJ Clark, this is David, David Shu, <laughs> and this is Drone and Fun. <laughs>